One of the saddest and most dangerous situations a police officer faces is when domestic violence spills out into the street. Campbell County, Tennessee. The man behind the wheel of this truck has just come from a violent argument with his girlfriend. What the police don't know is that he's armed and very dangerous. All right, tell me no more now. Put your hand on the He's got a gun! The driver takes off, weaving from lane to lane at 70 miles an hour. The suspect threatens to run officers off the road. He's all over the road, there, won't let nobody pass him. But this driver isn't content with mere threats. 7-Eleven County, he has fired a shot at me. Now the suspect is wanted for attempted murder of a police officer. He fires again. This time at the vehicles in front of him. Central, he is firing at other traffic. Deputies realize innocent lives are at stake. They increase their firepower. Hey, we need a shotgun. Uh, Marty, bring a shotgun out. Once the suspect is clear of other traffic, the officers make their move. An officer gets into position and shoots out the truck's right rear tire. Listing dangerously to the right, the truck exits. When the suspect stops under the bridge, officers rush to the truck. But when the driver starts firing at officers, the officers have no choice. The result is the only one possible for a man who clearly would not be taken alive. Inside the truck, deputies find three handguns and a rifle, along with marijuana and cocaine. One officer was in a room and was back on the job the next day. Anger, guns, and cars, a terrible combination. In every one of these chases we've seen tonight, one thing is constant, a stupid decision made in haste. Pure adrenaline, fight or flight. That one moment of panic that can turn into a lifetime of regret. Stay alive. Don't run.